Hi, I'm Ian Kerr from Meter Plugs. In this video, I'll show you how to take loudness measurements and target ATSC A85, which is the loudness specification in the United States. I'll be using Meter Plugs Lcast, our loudness meter, and Logic Pro X. I'll point out some problems that you can run into when measuring loudness, and then I'll show you how to speed up the calculation. So to get started, you can see that I have LCAST on the output channel strip. It's important to have LCAST at the final stage of the signal chain. You want any compression or limiting to happen before LCAST because you want to measure the final output levels. So I'll open the LCAST interface and I will select LCAST ATSC A85 preset. We can see in the options what that does. It sets the true peak clip level to minus 2 decibels full scale. And it sets the target loudness level, the integrated loudness, to minus 24 LUFS, which is typically the target with ATSC A85. You may have heard of LKFS units. They are the same as LUFS. So we'll go ahead and get a baseline reading for our test signal. Noyes Alexi, De Wieke, De Wiene Toe, Swaal, Smalle Lucien, Oscar Kak, Rudy van Arlet, Zof, ze waren allemaal van de partij. Maar geen van hen kon vermoeden dat een stropper en zo makkelijk naar de totale vernedering zou zuipen. This clip's integrated loudness is minus 23 LUFS. So as I said before, if you're targeting ATSC A85, you'll likely want a loudness level of minus 24 LUFS. So what we can do is we can apply a gain to the output. We'll set the gain to minus 1. Minus 23 minus 1 should give us minus 24. So we'll reset the loudness calculation and test again. Noyes Alexi, De Wieke, De Wiene Toe, Swaal, Smalle Lucien, Oscar Kak, Rudy van Arlet, Zof, ze waren allemaal van de partij. Geen van hen kon vermoeden dat een stropper en zo makkelijk naar de totale vernedering zou zuipen. You can see we got exactly minus 24 LUFS. But now you can imagine if, if you're doing this for a film, which could be a couple hours long, this could take a long time to make these adjustments and then retest. So I'll show you how to speed up the calculation. Logic has a bounce feature which will let you render faster than real time. So it's called offline mode and I'll leave normalize off. Click bounce and select a file. And now the calculation finished in a couple of seconds. But you'll notice a problem. The integrated loudness is slightly different. Uh, now it's minus 24.2 LUFS before we had minus 24 LUFS exactly. So what I think is happening in this bounce feature is that logic may be rendering slightly past our region marker and feeding that data to LCAST causing the loudness value to drop slightly. So we can get around that by automating LCAST bypass flag. So first I'll select the output channel strip and then create tracks for selected channel strips. This will add it to the arrange window. Then I will show automation and add a, an automation curve for LCAST, which is in the insert number two slot. Now I'll draw points at the start and end of the clip.
and I will set the point at the end of the clip to bypassed. And so this will stop Lcast from calculating loudness exactly at the end of the clip. Now I rewind, open Lcast, reset, and bounce a second time. And this time you can see that we got exactly minus 24 LUFS. That's all there is to it. If you'd like to try out Lcast, visit www.meterplugs.com/lcast and download the free demo. Thanks for watching.